Hey, what's going on guys? Today I just want to share with you my recent completed build here that I'm calling the Leo Stingray. Basically just calling it Stingray for the fact that I used some decals on it that are like Stingray themed decals that say Stingray and have pictures of Stingrays, so <laughs> that's really the only reason for the name. But anyway, it's just a Leo that I've obviously kit bashed here with some parts from the Mercurius and the V8 old 1144 scale kits. Uh, and this was actually for the Leo contest, the Leo bracket contest that was put on by a new type there, the contest that they had. And so that's the reason why you guys really haven't seen anything about this because I just, before I get into talking about what I actually do with the kit, I do want to explain about that, but I'll just talk a little bit about the contest here first. Uh, I didn't make my entry into the contest public uh, because I didn't want to have any unfair advantage because obviously I have a pretty large following on like YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So if I was posting a bunch about this, then obviously I, I think that would have given me an advantage of uh, just having a large audience for people to go vote was because the contest was the public voting it was a bracket challenge so they just had a bracket and you just made your way through the bracket based on voting on their website so it was out of fairness to the other entries that i kept my entry a secret and probably to my detriment i ended up coming in for in uh, third place which is awesome i'm very happy about that although i have to imagine that if i would have uh, like promoted my build and <laughs> Uh, possibly could have gotten a second or first. I don't know. I mean, that's not to say that the first and second entries weren't awesome. They were great entries as well. But uh, I think that definitely having a large platform and a public voting does help, which is why I've spoken out against that in the US for the US GBWC. So it would have been kind of hypocritical for me to do that uh, for myself. So of course I just wanted to do the right thing to make it fair for everyone else as well. And I mean, in all honesty, also, I knew that if I would have made my entry known and would have asked people to go vote for that, I probably would have been called out for that, fair, rightly enough. You know, I think that would have been fair to call me out for using my audience to help win that contest. So anyway, I ended up with third, and that's awesome. So on a note about that, the prize money for that was $150 in store credit to new type, which I'm actually going to keep that and pass that on as a gift, as a giveaway prize, as a contest prize in an upcoming contest. So I've currently got the uh, Matt K and Gundam contest going on right now. Uh, but after that, later on, I'm going to have my big 100,000 subscriber contest. And so one of the prizes in that contest is going to be my winnings from the Leo contest, the $150 uh, coupon there, store credits to new types. So just a little note about that, something to look forward to for that future contest. <laughs> but now that I'm done patting myself on the back, let's talk about my build here. So I used the torso of the Mercurius as the backpack here for this. And I can't claim full credit for that. It's actually something that I've seen this builder here. I'll put the picture there of his accounts. Uh, he's actually a Korean builder, Kunho No. And he usually often does this where he'll use like the backpack of a mobile suit uh, or a torso of a mobile suit as a backpack in a kit bash. And so it worked out really well with the Mercurius uh, to kind of plug up the bottom of that, like just the circular midsection of the body. Uh, ended up plugging up that big fuel tank there and just used some putty around the edge of that to make it look like a kind of like cloth covering there kind of between the backpack and the fuel tank. Uh, and then plugged on the, um, the planet defensors from the Mercurius. Those are just basically plugged on to where the arms would plug onto the side of the torso. Uh, and in place of like the attachments for like uh, where the planet defensors plug onto like the sliding parts that go uh, underneath the torso, just mounted some thruster bells on there and a couple other little greeble parts there just to make it look like it's got some thruster bells there out the backpack as well. And then obviously used like the big power Power generator from the V8 uh, mounted up onto the top of the backpack there and used a, just some other little parts there just to kind of make it blend in there. It looks like it's more blended into the backpack nicely. And then for the shield, I used the shield from the Mercurius, basically replaced the shield of just the Leo, the Leo shield, but also had to kind of do a little bit of work on that because I used different shoulder armor. I used the shoulder armor from the Mercurius as well and that's uh, had to do a little extension on that because the width is a little bit diff different. So I had to like saw that and have uh, and, and add a couple inches, uh, a couple millimeters, sorry, of plot play in between to just kind of widen the shoulder armor from Mercurius to that will fit onto the shoulder of the uh, Leo kit. And then attached to the mounting part for the shield onto that, and then basically swapped the shield. So I had to 
uh, take like the front part of the shield of the Mercurius, uh, hollow out the back of that, and then uh, put that onto the kind of mounting part of the shield for the Leo. And so there was just a bunch of putty in the back of that as well, just to make it so that it was a kind of seamless fit there. It's not really all that visible, but it was a little bit of a process to get that to fit nicely. And then other things on the body, obviously on the head there, I just used the kind of uh, little head bit there, antenna from the V8. Just glued that basically onto the top of the head, nothing really too special about that. The arms, uh, the upper arm and the shoulder is original to the Leo. The uh, forearm is from the Mercurius kit as well. So it didn't really fit well onto the elbow joint. So I had to cut the space a little bit more open for that. And then I used hands, those are just Kotobukiya option hands, actually the same uh, type of option hands that I used for the Tristan as well. I really like those hands, but unfortunately they don't have any closed fists. So I always gotta have an open hand there for those. Didn't really do anything to the body of it at all or the waist section. I had to cut the kind of back skirt areas a little bit to make or make some room for the big kind of thruster things on the side of the thighs and so that was obviously a big thing as well basically what I did was uh, make it so that those uh, thruster parts on the side of the thighs of the uh, Mercurius would fit onto the side of the Leo's um, thighs there so that was basically just a lot of uh, sending and shaping to get those to fit onto there and then puttying to make it a nice seamless transition there for the side of the thighs and ended up working really nicely. The uh, ankle armor and the knee armor I reshaped a bit, basically uh, sanded them down to make them more round and got rid of the uh, kind of circle details on the front of the knee and just changed the details on that. Uh, also the feet, the feet I made a little bit smaller just because I didn't really like how large the Leo's feet are. I wanted them to be a little bit smaller. So basically just file down the sides and file down the sides and the front of the toes a little bit just so that that piece for the feet is now it's really really thin just so it's maybe like a millimeter smaller the feet are just just a tiny bit smaller uh, and then also the legs the lower legs are extended so those are extended uh, two or three I think it was three three cent three millimeters uh, extension on the lower legs so I wanted the legs to just be a little bit longer there as well so those also were extended just you know kind of typical leg extension I basically just saw the lower leg in half stacked up three plates of one millimeter plot plate on there and uh, you know sand them down smooth them down and then I didn't do a whole lot of scribing but you can see I did just do a little bit of like notch little scribing details where I just uh, scribe a little notch there and just stick a tiny little piece of plot plate in there and then just paint it at white which just looked like a kind of little white uh, like a, a latch 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 locking hatch there kind of latch on that so you'll see those around in a few different areas around on the kit and then also the gun I should talk about the gun there's also some modification with that obviously it's it's the gun from the 144 scale uh, Ray 8 kit but it's reshaped I just kind of move the parts around a little bit put the kind of part around on the side to move the handle actually give it a different handle because the original handle is just a just a peg so I wanted uh, just a regular handle on that so I just took a, a different handle and put that on there added a couple little detail parts there's a couple of photo etch parts added onto this they're not really all that noticeable but you'll see like on the ankles on the back end of the cannon and then on the uh, mounting parts for the planet defensors on the back little just little circle photo etch parts added around on there and I think that is basically it for all the customization and everything. That was just uh, painting. I wanted to do something interesting with the paint. I wanted, really wanted to use this uh, really cool emerald color. That's just Gaia Notes uh, Emerald Green. It's a really cool color. I've been wanting to use it for a long time. So I thought, hey, let's do something interesting and unique and try it out for this kit. So I did that. And then the inner frame and secondary colors got that brown. The brown is basically very similar to the original color for the Leo. Uh, but the inner frame obviously has changed to a much more lighter color, the very light tan for the inner frame and detail parts. And there's some other gray bits and everything around on there, just kind of typical colors. And then mounted up on the base. And then of course the pilot figure is just a 120 scale. Uh, it's actually originally a Machine and Krieger figure, but I just painted that in an opposite color scheme. And that actually turned out really well. It didn't really do it like exactly like this on purpose at the time. 
Uh, but I'm really glad that I did it in an opposite color scheme because I think when they're placed together, if they were the same color scheme and if you're looking at it from straight on, they, the two would kind of blend together a little bit. But because they're opposite, the pilot figure really stands out in front of the mobile suits. So I, I really like that. So the opposite color scheme worked out really well. How I did the kind of like tiger striping on there basically was really simple. Uh, it's just masking with masking tape and I just ripped the masking tape intentionally so it was just a kind of really rough shape for that and just stick it on there and just, just paint over that so it's a pretty simple way to do some pretty cool uh, looking striping obviously I didn't do a whole lot of that but if you wanted to do like a more full-on kind of tiger stripe sort of look on your kits it's an easy way to do that just like rip some masking tape and uh, just really random rough uh, section so uh, I guess before I said I didn't do anything to the torso I did add a couple of parts on there just a couple of photo etch hooks on the front and a couple of detail parts on the top of the torso very minor things but uh, yeah that is pretty much it for this build guys what do you think of this were you following the Leo contest over there at new time did you, you know, vote for that did you vote for mine if you did thank you very much for that what do you think of the other entries I thought there was a lot of really cool really unique entries in there so it was a pretty interesting contest and the whole bracket format was pretty unique as well so looking forward to hopefully being able to enter in next year as well with uh, whatever that ends up being, whatever is the theme for that contest. Oh, and also I should mention that this kit is for sale, so if you're interested in buying this build, you can uh, preferably send me a message over my Facebook page and we can sort out the details. I think I pretty much covered everything, but of course, if you guys do have any other further questions about the build, feel free to ask down there in the comment section below. Uh, and I just look forward to hearing feedback from you guys. As always, thanks so much for that. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>